Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Megan, and we're here with Deborah Quartermain. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Thanks thank for Deborah. joining us. Oh, thank you, you know, for Deborah me. has are traveled the furthest of any of our guests. <laughs> two planes, two buses, 28 hours. I give it to the girl. She needs yeah. a drink. And she's yeah. from? <laughs> Uh, New Brunswick, Canada, which probably if you don't know is just above Maine, 60 miles from the border. Oh, Shout out wow. to Canada! Yeah. So right. um, today we're at the Home Arts booth and um, she has a wonderful project that's going to be featured in their magazine probably about this spring, this summer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're going to be making cuffs, cuff cuffs, bracelets, cuffs. right? Cuffs. So um, it's, it looks to me like it's kind of a recycled project. Yes, it's a great recycled project. You have old sweatshirts or I've written a lot of projects with sweatshirts, so all these great cuffs. Um, and yeah, old why are you wearing, I was wondering why well, you're wearing a tie. It's, well, I, not normally, but no. it's a great, uh, <laughs> it's a great um, piece to use because it has, they have beautiful silk, so get some of your husbands or boyfriends or go to a thrift store. Get these you know, great I'm going old to the flea market and bought them for like a dollar yeah, a piece. Exactly. So, I got yeah. these oh, guys, for ten you put cents your each. On lockdown. Yeah, ten <laughs> cents each. Oh, you get them for ten cents. Yeah. Oh, okay, you scored. And you just <laughs> use the silk for this one you're wearing, uh -huh. the flower right here. Oh wow. And yours is also a, from a silk tie or a silk cool. scarf. For there are no men in your life, but oh, wow. oh, there and you, you go. just haul it open like this, and you great way to get some silk. Yeah, fabric. and you get this gorgeous fabric. I would iron it first. Oh, beautiful. And this is what the flowers are made of. These are silk yo-yos, so it's a great thing to do. Very good, Megan. So, once you move those out of the way, okay. okay. There you go. And so, then Deborah's going to show right. us how to do a yo-yo. So once you've cut your circle about a five inch, but if you don't, you know, when you get down to the skinny end of the tie. Just mm -hmm. go a little bit smaller because there's okay. no rules. You can yeah. put a couple on. Okay. So this works great. And our friends over at Clover have a great yo-yo yes, maker. Yes, and you can do flowers. I did a flower style on this one. So oh, put my initial in the middle. Cute. So yo-yo is just a basic circle, yeah. turn on the edges. Yeah. And you can uh, finger press the silk, take your needle, go all the way around little stitches. And then all you're going to do is start pulling. And when you're finished, Together. Voila, we have yeah. a yo-yo. A beautiful little yo-yo mm. flower. To be honest, I think that was easy enough I could do it. <laughs> I, know I you think could so that too. Yes, yeah. I think you could. And you just finger press like this all the way around. Just flatten it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. just flatten it out. And, that's and all so you we're going to set that aside for an embellishment. Right. Exactly. Okay. And so tell us how to do the cuff. Okay, so you have your cuff. You've got a raw edge, which it actually won't fray, but to give a nice finished edge, and also it stands out a little nicer, mm -hmm. is you want to just use Beacon's Great Glue. I love the way Canadians say their O's. Yes. I, I Every time you say about. I didn't know I did I'm like, that. Yes. I know. And am I even saying about? I wasn't yes, going to. I love it. It's so cute. Sorry. Go Megan. Ahead. <laughs> so anyway, all you're going to do with the glue, and I won't say about, is you glue this down a hem all the way around, mm -hmm. and that gives a nice finished edge. Beacon's glue is great because it gives a nice little stiffness, and it uh -huh. also is washable. So, mm -hmm. so then what you do is you take, you can either take fabric scraps, flannel scraps, and cut them in uh, like half inch mm -hmm. strips, but you can also buy all these great trims, which is what. There are some great trims, and, yes. and you know, the good old rick rack, rack yeah. anything, <laughs> so. But these work great because it gives you a beautiful pattern to it, and makes it quite an elegant project. So then all you're going to do is you just, with your glue, is you start gluing at the edge. Now, one really good tip about this is, and I, luckily Megan has a small wrist, because she, if you put the, the ribbing, on, or on the ribbing, if you put the trim, you, it's hard to get on. So right. you always so want to go. Sure you have plenty of yeah. give. So you always want to put it on the non-ribbed part and go vertical on the ribbed part. So that was something I learned from the first one. Very cool. So then you're just going to glue that around like that with your glue. The magic of television. We yes. have a finished one over there. Right. And then you just do this. Love you it. Can put it wherever you like. Perfect. Very cool. So. I'll take that for you. Okay. So this is what you end up with. And uh, the flowers, it's because this is a recycled, reclaimed, or upcycled, as they're calling this day's product, um, what you want to do is, I used, I had these beautiful brads with the mm. stone center. Mm -hmm. So I just used the scissors, made a little hole, and I'm just going to poke this through. Hopefully oh, it'll great. go right there. And then you just bend it over, you won't feel it. So there you go. Oh, your flower. Wow, that dulls it up real fast, right. doesn't it? Right, and then with the glue, 
the glue again. You can just do add all of these fun, like which I did there. Mm -hmm. You can add all these fun embellishments. It's a great way to use leftover stuff from every medium and from scrapbooking. Yes, because you get all those little Chotskys left it's, over from other exactly. projects. Exactly. And you call like, them? what am I going to do? Chotskys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, it's like a Chotsky. Little well, just things. like random things? Yeah, yes. <laughs> And then you just like we insert your charms, any charms you have, and mm -hmm. you you can glue all this. The glue will hold it. And mm -hmm. then all I did is I put a whole lot of glue right here, mm -hmm. and it's, you make a nice uh, use quite a bit of glue. And then you just take your beautiful beads, and you can just the pour them on. right on. And like on Megan's, I used little dots here and there, and I added ribbon and some beads. So you, it's a great way. Well, to you use can do whatever yeah. you want to do. They're yeah, and really if you're feeling fun. like you want to wear leather, you can do one like mine, yeah, which is yeah, I know that's sassy. Point. Yeah, Ooh. and bring it to a point. So we're sassy Canadian. Yes, we are. Well, you never know. It's all that snow. <laughs> so anyway, oh. it's a great project, and you can use all kinds of leftover stuff, which is what makes this it perfect. This is great, Deborah. Oh my gosh, this is really a lot of fun. It's, I think you yeah. could do this, Megan. Probably. Yeah. I know you could. Yeah. Hey, you know what we say? When creativity, creativity knocks, knocks, open, open the, the door. door.